So that's the heat wrap done. Um, Right, so I've finally got my hair cut because of lockdown. At least I don't look homeless anymore. Um, I'm going to be working on the engine today. It's almost time for it to go in. Um, hopefully you've seen from earlier on how far I've got with the engine bay. Um, so it's almost ready to take the engine. So we've got to get this engine off the stand. So before we take the engine off the stand, put the box on, which I've done a video on the box. Garage is a mess again as normal. Um, I'm going to fit some heat wrap. I've got this heat wrap from funk motorsport this is their lava rock stuff it's quite good i've um, only actually ever used heat wrap once before so bear with me but i'm gonna wrap even though this exhaust is wonderful and it does look awesome i'm gonna have to wrap it um, i want to make sure i keep heat away from um, the drain because my drain it's going to live actually fairly close to the uh, exhaust, as you can see around here. Obviously, this has got its little blanket on. Um, I've got heat sleeving that's going to go over, but it's still quite close. So I'm going to stop some heat coming off of it. Now, I have thought about getting it ceramic coated, the same as this. However, one, you do not see this, which is in the bay, unfortunately, because of my engine, well, the VW engines, the exhaust is at the back with the turbo. You're going to see this. From the front you'll see the turbo stuck up but you're not going to see the exhaust manifold even if you look down you probably won't see because there's going to be a big downpipe here so you're not going to see that unfortunately so heat wrap is a lot cheaper a lot cheaper than um ceramic coating it so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to whip the turbo off so we've got some more room might even whip the wastegate off we'll see if there's room i'm just going to leave it where it is because it's in position um, I haven't finished the drain, I need to cut it, I've marked it, so whilst it's off, I can cut that, trim that back as well, and like I said, I've got heat sleeving to go on the air, to go on my metal braided line, which you can see there's space gap everywhere, oh, it's going to have heat sleeving on it, and like I say, once this is wrapped as well, it will stop as it emitting as much heat. I've also got some sleeving that will actually slide over the union, and onto here slightly again to give it lots of protection because I don't like things getting cooked right so I'm going to whip this tab off it's literally going to take me two seconds and then um, we'll get to this heat wrap there we go look at this beauty it's an awesome looking thing Get outside into the light so you can see it properly. It's an awesome thing, this Owen Developments. And again, for people, because I have people asking me all the time what turbo it is, this is an Owen Developments GBT. And so that I get it right because people ask me all the time. It is a 6176 B band housing and it's a 0.63 so it should spool nice and quickly especially for its size so i'm going to go put this down over here love looking at this thing how cool does it look all right let's leave it That's not going to fall off. Right, go back to the exhaust wrap. So, um, we need a couple of things to do this. I've got some gloves. Make sure you wear some gloves. This stuff isn't as bad as other people's. Cool clamp for my own developments, having their thing laser etched into it. Chuck it down here. So we've got some gloves. We want some snips. 
Mm. Definitely want to be wearing some gloves when we do this. We've got to try plan out our routine of what we're going to do as well. The most important bit that I'm concerned about with heat is this collector here. Not really it coming up, the collector and this long runner here. Because this is where most of the heat is going to come off of for the actual um, drain. This is your last look at how nice the exhaust is. Let me grab you out. Last look at the exhaust before it all gets covered with that titanium stud kit from ERC. Don't know why we see. Got my factory EGT boss. This thing is solid and is not going anywhere. Um, yeah. So this will be the last time you're probably going to see it like this. I'm going to show you a bit of how to do it, and I'll probably just time lapse me doing it because you don't want to see me do it the whole time because it's probably going to take me a while. I might end up redoing it. it I might do a rubbish job. So I'm going to go get some scissors, and then we will carry on there as you can see it's a fabric it will just fray and if it where well, if it's tucked away and then taped down it won't and if it starts fraying it will just fray the whole thing the whole thing will fall apart uh you kind of want to plan your roots i'm not really too sure so i might do a bit skip a bit just do a bit myself and then show you wrap it round your pipe like that so now we know to wrap it all the way round is this long and then what you can do is you can position it in places like there so that would be one lap and then we move it slightly what about down there that's two three four and you keep going and we can count how many of these we need all the way along and up and like i said for the first one we're going to curl it curl the end of it get it started and do it tight as we can and that's why i like using the cable tie because i can cable tie it and then we can try to pull off of it i want to get this as tight as i can that'll be about 15 uh, 16 of them we need 16 of this length I don't even know if we'll have enough material for this, we will see. So we need 15s of these. It's two. Three. 16. We'll do a tiny bit extra. Ah, oh, scissors are on the floor. Cut it about. There's what I'm going to go for. Now remember, I know I've said it multiple times, it frays like mad. So we need to make sure this end is folded. Kind of just fold it like that. I'm trying to get some sort of double fold on it to try to stop it fraying off the edge. Try to decide what my favourite something like that. Because that ends fully tucked away. Yeah, well we're just gonna go for that. Now this is a lot of it. So we need to actually kind of thread a load of it on there ready. Now it is, when you do it, obviously you can do this. I thought about doing this beforehand, but I hadn't decided whether I was going to ceramic coat it or not. But also, so the downside is that these studs are in the way and they're strapped to the engine. The upside is, is strapped to an engine, so this doesn't move, slide about if you're on a table.
Right guys, so this is how far I've got. Oh, I don't want to touch it. Do not touch this stuff. I wore gloves the whole time. Don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I am covered in it. Once I've finished filming this, I'm going to go chuck this stuff in the wash straight away. Um, the same with the gloves I used. Make sure you wear gloves. This stuff is incredibly itchy. I could, I oh, had fabric gloves on. Obviously plastic gloves. I don't know if they'd be bad. Fabric gloves on right near the end where i was doing the last bit in the collector i could start feeling my hands my right hand itching it getting through it's very itchy stuff make sure you wear gloves when you do it try not to touch it like i am every runner is covered the collector's all covered as much as i can even around the back side back side not so much there's this little gap down in there that I couldn't really get but I could have got them but I would have had to wrap it so many times it would have started getting so big and bulky um two hours later so the heat wrap is all done I filmed the process and showed you guys roughly how I've done it it does take quite a bit of time so I showed you hopefully I've got the footage of how I did it so I've, instead of using the metal cable ties, basically, that they give you, you can use them. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, or you can use other things to do it, basically, as long as they're metal. I've used lock wire. So I've lock wired all of this with stainless steel lock wire. You can see it's quite a lot of it I've done all the way around. Different sections have all got it there and there, and it goes round. And this one is going up and down, and it's all the way round everywhere. Everything is held together with it, as you can see. Bits all around the floor. So, this is what like bits I've cut off. That is actually quite sharp there. You could easily cut yourself on it easily cut yourself so so when you do any lot wiring whether it's on exhaust or anything you always fold it back on itself and then push it flat how this is pushed in i can't catch my finger on it same with this one is a round edge and the point is tucked in can't catch my finger on it can't catch my finger on them because the last thing you want to do is be putting your hand down somewhere to do something and cut yourself. That's basically the most important thing with lock wiring. So this is all done. Hopefully this is going to stop heat getting everywhere. Too much heat soaking into the bay. Obviously I've got my coolant bead which is down here. This has got a um, heat sleeve on it anyway. But to keep some heat off of it. And the same with my drain. It's going to have a heat sleeve on it anyway and here's the drain which I'm going to show you how to do but it's better to have less heat coming off of it just so everything stays as cool so big thanks to Funk Motorsport for the wrap um, I'm going to get on and show you how to do this before the battery and everything dies because I need to get on get this off the stand I'm probably going to chuck it in a spare tar I've got flywheel and clutch all on and ideally get that box on because I want to put it in the bay tomorrow.